Our Bible story today, The Pit, The Prison, and The Palace, based on the book of Genesis, chapter 38, 39, and 41. Joseph is one of 12 brothers. His father, Jacob, loved him the most, and his brothers were not happy about it. They were jealous. So one day, when Joseph went to the fields to work with his brothers, they were mean to him. They took his coat of many colors, and they threw him into a pit. And when travelers came by on their way to Egypt, the brothers gave them Joseph to take with them. When he got to Egypt, Joseph worked for a man called Potiphar, a captain officer to the Pharaoh king. He saw that the Lord was with Joseph and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hands. So Potiphar made Joseph the manager of all he had at his house. Things went well until one day, Joseph had an argument with Potiphar's wife, and she lies about Joseph, and he was put in prison, even though he did nothing wrong. The Lord was still with Joseph, everything his hands did, still prosper while he was in the jail, and Joseph was put in charge to manage the prison. Joseph kept a good attitude and made the best where he was. He helped others, which brought him before the Pharaoh king. From the pit to the prison, then to the palace, Joseph was adaptable. Looking to God, he made the best out of every change that came his way and watched God work things out for his good. Our Bible truth today is adaptability. What does that really mean? It means that some things change and we have to go along. Sometimes we have a move or, you know what? It could be as simple as I ran out of ketchup for my chicken nuggets. <gasps> what are you gonna do? You make the best out of it. Look for some honey, tastes just as good on those chicken nuggets. But how can you go from one change to another and make the best out of it? Be adaptable. Our memory verse is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. It's a great time to end talking to God, which means we're praying. So let's get our praying hands. Lord, we want to thank you for this day. We want to thank you for your word and for your truth. And we want to thank you that no matter what happens, that when we put you first, that things will work out good for us. Help us to stay focused on your truth, your word, and walk in your love. And thank you for our parents and our families. Watch over them, keep them safe, protect them, Lord. And thank you for keeping us healthy, strong, and safe. In Jesus' mighty name, all God's kids said, Amen. Thank you for watching CWC Kids. Join us again next Sunday at 9 a.m. when we share another Bible story. You can access CWC Kids videos on our YouTube channel at Covenant Word Church Key West, our website at covenantwordchurch.org, or our Facebook page at CWC Key West. Please subscribe to be sure you don't miss an episode of Building Character on the Foundation of God's Word. See you next time on CWC Kids. Have a blessed week.